Hey guys, quick tutorial here about how to change any of your keyboard keys into any color or text that you like. One important thing to remember before you start is that when you take the picture of your keyboard, make sure first of all to dust it off and don't use a flash because the flash will probably bring out all of the dust particles on it and it will look uh, much less professional at the end. So I try to take the picture uh, in a very lighted situation uh, so you don't have to use the flash. One more important thing to notice is that when you actually, when you're gonna select the key itself, uh, make sure that you know exactly where the key ends. Meaning, although all of this part, all of this, uh, I'm sorry, all of this part is actually black, uh, the key doesn't extend all the way to the rim over here. Actually, it actually ends somewhere around. I think you can see it better. Uh, probably on this key over here, on the page up key you can see over here the internal parts which means the key actually only ends somewhere around maybe three quarters okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start by creating a new layer and setting that layer to soft light which will basically make all of the colors we apply to it uh, transparent and by so uh, it will keep all of the light textures okay we're gonna go back to background I'm gonna choose the magic wand uh, but as you can see in this case it doesn't work probably because uh, some of the edges over here are a little bit of mixed colors so it actually selects uh, much more than I wanted so what I'm gonna do now I might not make it so accurately but uh, when you do it just make sure you zoom as much as you need to and um, you select uh, more precisely Okay, so now we've selected the key uh, accurately enough for this demonstration. We're going to go ahead and change to the layer we created before. We're going to choose the color that we like. Let's go with uh, this kind of green. I'm going to choose uh, the bucket tool and basically pen the entire key. Okay, now I'm going to change back to the background layer. I'm going to go ahead and change the text I'm going to choose this tool again now instead of just erasing the lettering uh, a much more efficient uh, method is basically selecting the area of the whatever the text is and then hitting shift and backspace make sure that content aware is basically selected and what it's going to do, it's going to fill the area you selected with the surrounding um, content, basically. There you go. Uh, well, if you were trying to delete it, it will probably leave some markings uh, on the surface. Actually, you can see a little bit, there's a little, uh, little curve over here, if you can see it, because I didn't actually select uh, the text all that tight. Uh, but when you do it, just make sure you do it more accurately. All right, so go, let's go ahead now and uh, change the text on the key. Um, one thing to notice of course every keyboard uh, has different fonts a little bit. If you can see my keyboard has actually also a little bit of a stroke okay around the, the letters. I'm gonna choose text. Let's make it success. Of course to make it look real I'm gonna choose the original color which was white okay we're gonna rotate it a little bit we can actually skew uh, the letterings a little bit uh, by holding uh, control and playing with your mouse what it's gonna do it's gonna give it that angle a little bit the same angle that has um, depending I guess from what, which angle you shot the keyboard. Uh, that looks a little bit straight. I'm gonna place it over here. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna right click um, 
let's confirm this. I'm going to right click uh, this layer and I'm going to go to blending options. I'm going to go to stroke. I'm going to try and identify the stroke color. Something like that. Okay. Just play around with the settings. Every keyboard is going to look a little bit different. Five good, maybe four. And there you go. That's the end result. Uh, again, you can change uh, basically any keyboard that you like. Uh, you can choose any color that you like. And there you go. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.